We'll call our December 15th meeting of the Cookville City Council to order. Could we have a roll call, please? Councilman Woodford. Present. Councilman Henry. Here. Mayor Shelton. Here. Vice Mayor Epps. Here. Councilman Womack. Here. All present. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to invite those that wish to do so to stand for the invocation given tonight by Tony Marable from the TTU College of Engineering, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance to the United States flag. Let us pray. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is your name in all the earth, who has set that glory above the heavens. When I consider the heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon, the stars, which you've ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him? O God, consider Mayor Shelton and the Cookville City Council. We ask that your divine providence guide the hands of the few as they make decisions on behalf of the many. So let wisdom prevail in all their ways, and may your blessings be upon our city. Amen. 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 Pledge allegiance to the, to the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America and to, to the, the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Well, item three, consider approval of agenda as presented. Are there any changes or corrections? Mayor, we have no changes to the agenda. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? All vote. Five yes, both motion carries. Under 4A, consider reappointment to the Cookville Municipal Planning Commission, Mr. Mills. Mayor, council members, the term of Judy Jennings for service on the uh, Planning Commission expires in January. Um, we're going to have a special called meeting in early January, so we need to go ahead and fill that position. Uh, Judy's agreed to continue to serve if reappointed, and we would recommend for her reappointment. Thank you. Is there a motion for Ms. Jennings? I'm a second. All right. Any other motions for anyone else? Seeing none, I'll vote. Five yes, both. Motion carried. Thank you. 4B, consider reappointment to the Board of Zoning Appeals. Mr. Mills. Mayor, Council members, the uh, terms of Sid Gilbert and James Dial as members of the Board of Zoning Appeals expire also in January of 2017. Um, these members serve for three year terms and are appointed by the Council. Both gentlemen have been contacted and have agreed to continue to serve if reappointed, and we would recommend for their reappointment. Thank you. Is there a motion for Mr. Gilbert and Mr. Dial? So moved. Second. Motion and second. Are there any other nominations? Seeing none, I'll vote. Five yes, votes. Motion carried. Thank you. And 4C, consider reappointment to the Sewer Regulations Appeals Board. Mr. Kelly. Mayor and Council, we have one of our board members going off, and this is a board was established by city ordinance in 1988. It's made up of five members appointed to three-year terms. They can't serve more than two consecutive three-year terms without a break. They're to, uh, set up to do con uh, conduct uh, hearings and appeals of decisions of, of our department and based for our sewer use ordinance. Uh, Bob Vick's term has expired. Uh, he is eligible to serve another term. We've spoken with him and he has uh, agreed to serve another term. We would recommend reappointment of Bob Vick. And thank you. Before I, you said this is a very busy board. How many times has it met? <laughs> Zero. Never, it's never met. So <coughs> interesting. Uh, and, so mayor, that's a good, and mayor, that's a good thing. That is a good thing. That's so a good thing. is there a motion for Mr. Vick? So moved. Motion and second. Any other nominations for anyone else? Seeing none, I'll vote. Thank you. Five thank you. Motion carries. Uh, old business 5A consider approval of minutes of council meeting held on December 1st, 2016. Is there a motion? So moved. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? <coughs> I'll vote. Five yes, votes. Motion carries. Under item six, consent agenda, 6A, set a date, January 19th of 2017 for a public hearing on ordinance 0161223, rezoning 570 State Street from RS10 single family residential to RM8 multifamily residential. Also 6B, set a date, January 19th, 2017 for a public hearing on ordinance 0161224, rezoning property located off of Locust Grove Road, ma tax map 54-1.07 from CI industrial commercial mixed use to RS20 single family residential. And 6C, set a date January 19th, 2017 for a public hearing on ordinance 0161225, closing undeveloped alleys located off of South Oak Avenue and Depot Street and declaring them as surplus and declaring portions of the right-of-way along Depot Street as surplus. Is there a motion on these three items of the consent agenda? So moved. Second. Got a motion and a second. Any discussion? All vote. 
Five yes votes, motion carries. Thank you. Under new business, 7A, consider resolution R-161-221, urging the Tennessee General Assembly to pass a private act authorizing the city of Cookville to declare Dogwood Park a local smoke-free venue. Councilman Walmack. Yes. I'd like to make a motion <clears throat> that uh, we adopt, therefore be it resolved, that the city of Cookville urges the Tennessee's General Assembly to pass a private act authorizing the city of Cookville declare Dogwood Park a local smoke-free venue within the city limits of Cookville as deemed appropriate and necessary by the City Council of the City of Cookville for the health and benefit of the public. I move. I so move. So, we have, a, uh, uh, so we have a motion and a second. Do we have discussion? Yes, sir. Um, Mayor, thank you. If you dealt with me about 30 seconds, seconds I uh, Ordinarily, I'm among the first to uh, in, a, in a crowd to talk about over government regulation, mm -hmm. but I really think in my heart of hearts that we are on very high ground in asking the state legislature to pass this private act, considering the what we know now about uh, the effects of secondhand smoke and considering what we know about the thousands of people, children and adults who, who, visit, uh, who visit that park, both at the amphitheater, the concerts, the movies, the water feature, and, and, and now the playground, which we're, which we're so proud of. And uh, so I feel like we're on very, very high ground in terms of asking the legislature to step in and authorize this private act. And, and on a personal level, I just want to uh, thank Councilman Womack and his involvement with Power Putnam and Bill Gibson for the good work they do. Uh, one of my sad memories of my early childhood is being a seven or eight year old boy and listening to my daddy uh, cough uncontrollably after he was sucking on, uh, roll your own Prince Albert cigarettes. and and unfiltered camels and uh, and passing away at age 50 from emphysema, not living long enough to uh, see his grandchildren or enjoy a good full life. Uh, he was a good man, a church going man, but started smoking about eight or 10 years old on the farm like a lot of people did and uh, and died at a very early age. So uh, it's uh, again, I'm, and for that reason, these reasons and those I've mentioned before, it's uh, I'm, I'm very happy to support and vote for uh, this act to uh, to have the General Assembly pass the private act. Thank you. Any other comments? Yeah. Uh, the uh, American Cancer Society, through Healthier Tennessee, first uh, contacted us to see if the city of Cookville would sponsor uh, something uh, asking the legislature to uh, allow it to set the parameters for uh, public smoking. And I think this is a very reasonable first step because we have a lot of uh, kids in the playground there. Uh, people go to the amphitheater for, uh, for concerts in the park. It's, uh, it's probably our most popular uh, park uh, for our venues. So I think this is uh, two other venues have done this, according to the Jessica Brooks from the American Cancer Society. The Ascend Amphitheater at, in Nashville had a private act passed for it last year. Uh, prohibiting uh, smoking there and a swimming pool in Kingsport had a private act passed uh, for it last year by the legislature. So I think our asking our legislators to see if they can get a private act through the legislature is a reasonable option. Anybody else? Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, I mentioned this in the in our work session and the, both the, uh, uh, Councilman, uh, Councilman uh, our, my two fellow council members have said some really poignant remarks. I'm going to uh, just, I just, only thing I'd like to add to that is like, you know, I take, I, I'm, I do anesthesia. I'm a, I'm a certified registered nurse anesthetist. I take care of people every day for uh, surgeries that have, um, for various maladies. I, I'd like to say that uh, many of those maladies have been contributed to and are maybe in direct relationship to smoking. Okay. So in some ways I probably shouldn't vote for this because it's, it's, it's smoking's good for my business, okay? Uh, but I won't go that far. I won't go that far, and so I won't go that far because it's about people. It's about patients, and I tell you what, uh, I I I hope I hope that Cookville, as uh, as we have done many times before, uh, Dr. Walmack, and uh, oh yeah, and and it, the many times before, cause many times many times before, Cookville has been a. Um, yeah has been a, 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 a pioneer, has been somebody that has, uh, has uh, taken, the first, taken many times the first step in order to uh, change things, in the, in the, certainly in the state, in our state law. So uh, I'm hoping that this will enable and be a first step 
for many other municipalities to be able to to do this on their own. So, right, yeah. I I look I look forward to voting yes on this. Sure. I want to uh, bring back a, a memory that uh, Mayor Shelton did uh, a number of years ago. Uh, he brought forth a motion to uh, make Cookville the first uh, locality in the state to uh, uh, pseudoephedrine, pseudoephedrine for, for the, meth. For the precursor for methamphetamine. Right. And so this is kind of another effort in that vein. Uh, <clears throat> we were the first, and I'd like us to be among the first in the state to do something about Yes, sir. Uh, public parks okay um, I've got a question and then a comment uh, the question is, is it relates to this bill uh, and I've been asked this is does does this pertain to vaping also will it mm. and, and that is a question I think that we need to will, will it Let's ask our lawyer will, will it oh I think you'd have to um, expand your resolution to include uh, e-cigarettes vape or uh, or like a chewing tobacco or snuff or uh, smokeless tobacco. I, I think this just has to do directly with a cigarette or cigar smoke. So I, I, I only asked that because somebody's already asked me that and I didn't have the answer to it. So I think. Do we it, need to make an amendment? I, I, I don't know. That, you know, I don't know. I, 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 mean, how I don't know about do that. I'm, to be, yeah, you know, there's I'm nicotine. Sure you do. Nicotine is uh, harmful to secondhand in the, in the uh, vaping. And uh, so there is, the Surgeon General was on, uh, I saw a YouTube video in the last couple of days where he was decrying the use of, of, of vaping as a yeah. substitute for smoking because of the harmful secondhand effects of, mm -hmm. the, of the nicotine in the air. Mr. Mayor. Yes, thank, thank you. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I, I, I think I would, pr I would probably prefer, just as, a, as, as one on this board, to vote on the, on the, on the on this motion resolution as presented. Uh, the rest is presented and then then let us explore like uh, we always fine. do in, in depth yeah, right. for everything one of the things we do and a lot of you folks out there don't get a chance to see us but our work sessions as well they're called work sessions for a reason is because we work at stuff we come in here and we pretty much just you know boom get stuff done I would like I would I would feel much more comfortable take care of that in a work session oh, I agree okay. with you I was asking the question because I didn't know the answer and to that's it. a great and that, question and that's yeah. something that's going that we do need to identify so let's Please. let's do that and, and then my, my comment to all this is uh, thank you for the work on this, Councilman Walmack. Also, um, like uh, Councilman Henry said, I, I'm also not don't want more government regulation. I think th I think Dogwood Park is unique, where it wouldn't really pertain, perhaps, to many other parks. Certainly, wouldn't pertain to an open air place. You know, Cane Creek with uh, lots and lots of acres. In Dogwood, you're very confined. You're confined either in the amphitheater or around the water fountain or around the playground. And to me, that that is a much different area than when you have a lot of space and not an event the type, the density of it. So I think that's why, as Councilman Henry said, that's why it kind of makes perfect sense for Dogwood Park. Uh, a lot of complaints, we have those great movies in the park, Leisure Services and others do, and, and, and actually received a lot of complaints. You know, people, people were smoking, it was blowing back. And, and so I think that's very appropriate. Um, you certainly don't want that right into a child's face. So. Um, Appreciate it. Is there anything else? Real quickly, Mayor, I, I think uh, in a lot of what uh, Vice Mayor said, uh, I, I agree. Of uh, can further look at that aspect of it, but I think that I think this is a good first step. Yes, good and first. Step. I agree. Yeah. the rest I agree. of it down the road. Yeah. Yes. All right. So we have a motion, a second on the resolution uh, and the request as presented. And so, any other comments or questions? All right. All vote. Five yes votes. Motion carries. Very good. 7B, consider approval to sell property equipment at 1976 Chocolate Drive to Russell Stover's Chocolates, LLC, per the 1977 lease. Mike Davidson. Uh, Mayor and council members, if I could, just to point out some of the highlights from that lease. But, yes, back in, in 1977, the city of Cookville and Russell Stover's entered into a lease where the city of Cookville issued bonds to build and equip uh, the Russell Stover's facility. Uh, that property, the facility, the property and the equipment are actually owned by the city of Cookville. And initially there was a 10 year lease uh, with a three uh, 10 year renewal periods for a total of a 40 year lease. So the end of, Je the end of December of 2016, that lease expires. Uh, and per the uh, lease provisions, Russell Stovers has indicated their uh, desire to purchase the property. Uh, that uh, property, uh, the building and the property uh, per the lease is to be sold for $100 and they purchased the equipment for $1. <laughs> uh, 
And just keep in mind, those bonds were issued to build that facility, but during the uh, during that first initial 10-year uh, lease period, Russell Stover's paid the principal and interest to pay off those those uh, the debt that was issued to build that. And again, it, it's per the lease, they would purchase the property essentially for $100 in the equipment for a dollar, but I would ask you to approve the sale. Thank you. Is there a motion? So I'll move. Second. Second. Motion and second. Any discussion? It's amazing how economic development's changed in 40 years. You don't see contracts like this anymore. Mm. Thank goodness. <laughs> well, I, I have a comment, Mr. Mayor. Yes, sir. Wouldn't mind. I, I just, I, I, Russell Stover has, it, it's 40 years, right? Is that, uh, my math is correct? 40, 40 years, and now the, the, that, that property is being put on the tax rolls. But I wouldn't, just remind everybody, for, for the past 40 years, and, and well, except for the last, I don't know how long Russell Stover has been shuttered. About 10 years. About 10 years. For at least for 30 years, Russell Stover was had a, 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 a dynamic and huge impact to Cookville in our, in our economy. Uh, and due to, due to, uh, to changes in, uh, in the economy, they, were able, they had to shut down for about 10 years. But for 40 years, those guys, uh, for 30 years, those guys did a great job. And I just want to, the reason I say that is because we've been doing this very same thing with our business partners that I, cons I consider business partners with the Academy and Ficosa. Uh, they're, they haven't had quite such a 40-year sweet deal. Uh, but I tell you what, they are, th those guys coming in are doing the same thing. They're going to contribute to the economy now, and eventually those, those uh, properties will be on the tax rolls. Look forward to that. I, I will say that uh, several years ago we were asked to look into this because Russell Stover did have an obligation to keep a limited, a certain amount of workforce there to continue this and have this uh, abatement. And they, we checked them very carefully, and they d did have the sufficient workforce there to continue this until they exercised the option. So, uh, and I would say this was 40 years now, as the council well knows, 20 years is the limit for any of these kind of uh, pilot programs or TIF programs or anything like that, unless the comptroller of the currency gives a very brief extension of time so it's, this is a old this is not the old school if i might add mayor uh russell stover if memory serves was because of the need to land their aircraft was a driving force for a regional regional airport mm. we, need, we developed that as out of the need for to get to get russell stover here so the they did have quite an impact for a long time right and now that it's on the tax rolls it'll be a considerable amount more money being received by the city and county in in tax revenue so um you know, this is uh, it's a good thing. All right. Uh, all vote. Bob, yes, both motions. Thank you, 7C. Consider awarding bid for 2017 father-daughter date night, full catered meal for Leisure Services Department, Rick Woods. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, members of council. It's time for us to prepare for our annual father-daughter date night scheduled next year, 2017, for February 17th, 18th, 24th, and 25th. We uh, advertise and receive bids for our full catered meal for those four nights. We received three bids, and we're recommending the lowest uh, bid meeting specification. That would be Vinny T's Catering. Uh, that would include the option of the chocolate not fountain. An option. So I recommend. Not an option, Rick. Not an option. Rick, that's not an option. I recommend the meal bid option. with the option of the chocolate fountain <laughs> be awarded to Vinny T's. I'll be happy to answer any questions that you Very have. Good. Is there a motion? So I move. Motion and a second. Any discussion? Mayor, if I could real quick. Yes. Nobody in the room is any more happy about the success of this. As an alumnus of the very first one at uh, Tech, where we're about, about 20 couples there at Tech, and to see what's happened with that, it's just it's a delight. The young girl that I took, uh, my daughter, who uh, is, is well past 30 now. She was about six at the time. So yeah. uh, I'm, I'm real happy about the way this thing has gone. We'll be sure the chocolate is open after they've taken pictures. Yeah, right. right. We encourage them to take pictures before they get into the chocolate. This will be my 22nd in a row mm -hmm. this year. So. <clears throat> all right. Uh, all vote. Bob, yes, both. Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. 7D, consider awarding bid for 2016 no Tech TTU Area Water and Sewer Rehab Project for Water Quality Department. Mr. Kelly. Mayor and Council, we continue to rebuild some of our water sewer infrastructure and this project will be out in the Tennessee Tech drainage basin, which is north of Tech. Uh, we've had one, five bidders on this project. JNH Construction was a low bidder, one million ninety-six dollars or one million ninety-six thousand six hundred and three dollars and seventy cents. We would recommend the low bidder. Thank you. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion and second. Any discussion? All vote. 
Five yes votes, motion carries. Thank you. That concludes the agenda portion of our meeting. We have time open at the end for uh, any comments from the audience. We have anybody that would like to speak? I know we have four guests here with us. Where, where are you all from? Cookville High School. Which uh, department? Awesome. Well, welcome. Welcome. Come back anytime, first and third Thursdays at 530. Great. Council, does anyone have anything? I can't wait to come back. <laughs> Man, it's fun and exciting. Any, any One final thing. Uh, we just got an email from um, Healthier Tennessee that we were named a healthy Tennessee city. I think there's only three or four. It's not an official thing. They'll n announce that in January, but I didn't want to bring that up during the tobacco discussion, but it's, it's an honor, and we can use that in marketing ourselves to industry that we're one of the few uh, cities that have that designation. Yeah, not just marketing, Mayor Walmack, but uh, uh, it's it's going to help Councilman Walmack. But yeah. it, it just demonstrate, it demonstrates that Cookville, Tennessee is not just your regular yes. little, po little podunk uh, out, in the, out in rural Tennessee. City. We are a city that is uh, that is fit. That has uh, uh, has is just has a fantastic setting and just does great things. Like we talked about already, we're kind of we're in many ways we're very we're very much trendsetters. So uh, I I think that's just part and parcel of what we do. So thank you, Mayor Womack, for bringing it up. Uh, this is our last meeting for the year, and we're getting ready to get into the holidays and Christmas. And a lot of us are very blessed. Uh, in many, many ways. Uh, please don't forget those of us that live in our community or not so. Uh, it is better to give than to receive, and that gift of giving gives the whole year. So uh, think about that in the days to come, uh, and Merry Christmas to everybody. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Anything else? Everybody? All right. Merry Christmas from the city. We're adjourned. Yep.